Yo, what is going on guys? Today, just got back from the stunt shows this weekend. So we're tearing down the 19 a little bit more and building some more stuff. Everybody drop a comment, drop a like on the video. Let's get the party started. Today, we're going to be taking the side fairings off and getting the gas tank off. I'll be taking the gas tank with me to Texas. What up, TRK400? Appreciate that, bro. We're gonna need it because uh, we're gonna be tearing this bike apart, man. This is a day I've been dreading, having to take all these beautiful plastics off and uh, get to the nitty gritty of building this stump bike, but it's gonna be a fun time, people. Uh, I was lazy this time around. I went out to the six shop. I actually didn't go anywhere, but I, I went online to the six shop and ordered the clean air mod kit. And then I bought the air filter on the side. So if we have some time, I'm going to try to pop this clean air mod kit on and maybe, maybe even take a Dremel, pull that Dremel gang out and Dremel the uh, windscreen. That way we got a nice stunt windscreen going on. But the subframe, I might tear down a little bit because uh, we're going to replace it anyways. You guys remember, I went ahead and cracked it right here. My new seat's actually at the shop. I just got to pick it up. Got a new one straight from Kawasaki. Um, then I got a bunch of stump parts ordered for it. So other than that, waiting on the steel frame for the giveaway bike. I moved all the parts up to here. Kind of scattered around, controlled chaos. And then we got more right here. But yeah, so far so good. Has anybody used this stuff before? I just went ahead and put some on uh, Betty White and see if she'll stay even cooler than she does already. Give me one second, people. I'm going to get the uh, live chat started up. You guys can look at the minty girl for a second. Toolbox tour. I'll show you guys the toolbox. Give me one second. Getting this video started. Trying to find my own live stream here. All right, there we go. Just gotta pull this chat up, people. Appreciate you exploring with Jacob. I'm definitely keeping her up. <laughs> Tremble Max risking. No, I'm not going to make it naked. I'm going to keep it uh, full fairing for as long as I can. <laughs> Gromsky, I got the uh, vlog coming. I just didn't do any riding, so it's kind of hard to uh, get to the, the video since there's not really a whole lot of action in the edit. But I will be dropping a UK vlog soon. Yeah, so I'll be keeping the other stump bike too. Betty White's a great practice bike. Come on. Everybody drop a like on the video. I'm pulling up the live chat real quick. All right, we are all set, people. Start tearing this puppy down. Basically, looks like the subframe was bent, so it already popped this thing out of place. So I have to take it apart up here. I think there's some Velcro right on the inside. You guys want to see the toolbox tour? I actually just organized it, super simple. There's some wrenches some ratchets, a couple of miscellaneous sockets, screwdrivers, pretty much all the essentials that I need for exactly my bike. So 
yeah. Pretty much everything you need. The old cow here. Where is it? They made that a three and a half? There's no way. No poke is there. Okay, maybe not everything that I need. It's like I misplaced some stuff. Almost everything. Got makeshift stuff. It's kind of hard to two-hander. There's a lot of like rubber tabs, so it's a little sketchy pulling it apart. Some That's weird. Get a little dirty. Sorry about that, people. My connection is terrible out here. All right, so we got one side off. Now to get the other side off. No, you may not. <laughs> hey, congrats, John. They're amazing bikes. I love mine. Can't wait to start out finally. Yeah, pop right out. That's a two-hander job. right out like butter so this this little tab sits in between this tab and this tab and they sandwich it all together pretty nifty stuff i can't wait to take it apart when i'm in the lot <laughs> sweating balls out there running
Try to stay nice and organized with my bolts. That ass. I'm just not checking uh, the, the comments as often when I'm wrenching people. Bear with me. <laughs> Sorry for dropping you guys. Reading some comment. Yeah, me and Photogram have been chatting about uh, getting a legitimate live stream going because this one's sad as hell. Gets the job done, though. She's about to get super naked, people. Read some comments, yeah. What up, Jacob? You gonna drop $5 in the super chat and not even leave a comment? Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Appreciate you, Random Gaming. I cannot hold the phone steady. What up, Shady? What up, Action Factory? Jacob, how's it going? Okay, now I've seen it. I didn't see it at first. I appreciate you, uh, Joshua. Glad you like it. V4 stump bike would be serious. I was just thinking that riding one the other day, like too much power. Never too much power, but you get the point. All right, next step, we're going to take the gas tank off. Yeah. I'll try to read the comments as I go. Where's everybody watching from? Oh, you, you have no idea, Mr. West. I am super anxious for this point to get started. I'm building my 19 because I'm so anxious to build something. That's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Alaska, Georgia. I see you. We out here. live streaming this for reference later something didn't tighten down right philly lancaster ikr come with it then i'll be in these streets You asked me one more time about the RSV4 stunt bike. I told you I'll rip it. Shout out to Tank Tank. Missouri, England. Okay. What's it like in England? Oh, it's not even finger loose yet. That's great. Yeah, I need to plan a meet soon. Slack titties. Oh, I know it's cold. You ain't got to tell me. It was chilly. It wasn't freezing cold or nothing. Florida gang, Florida gang. There's my Florida gang. Cairo, Egypt with the curveball. <laughs> oh, you're writing paragraphs, bro. Can't keep up quick enough. Oh. Just send it. You can wheelie a mountain bike. You can wheelie a street bike. It just takes practice. I skimmed that comment, but I hope that was relevant. Um, Roll Tide, Alabama. I was pretty much there this weekend. This is knowingly long to do with one hand.
Yeah. I'd like to go to Grom Day. All right, we got some stuff happening over here. First things first, you want to disconnect your fuel line and your fuel plug for your electronics. So that's what we're doing. Watch her squirt. Oh, she's a little dribbler. Just a dribble. Ooh, and then the fuel line is right here. She has a little plug. Holding her like so. And I got some other dangler. I'm just gonna unplug it right here. Oh, that's a little tighter. Tighter than usual. Thorough with thorough cowie gang. Get that bit. I won't get in there. Oh. All right. Cool. So three things to unplug. Your overflow being the other one. <laughs> he worked. Oh yes, I'm working. Look at that. Look at that arm action. Back to staring at the cowies. I read comments. Just for a second. We're making progress tonight. We're not diddling around. No dilly dallying tonight, boys and girls. 169 viewers, people. Uh, I loved England. People, it was super genuine experience. Look forward to going back someday soon. No, I didn't grow up in Pennsylvania. I don't know who told you that. Florida. Grim Squad. SBK. Yeah, I just got Betty White all ready for uh, SBK. She might not break down this trip. Knocking on wood on that one. Um, spot, Triumph Speed Triple 955 sounds a little older. I don't know about it for a stump bike. Oh, appreciate, dang, Taylor with the branded, oh, dang, you tagging him up. Appreciate you, my guy. That was a hell of an admin to pick. I'll have to send you a care package. Shoot me an email, Taylor. Gotta, gotta suit up the dank live stream admin. Get them all geared up. What up, GS1000? Yeah, let's get 10 more people in here. Let's get the 69 rolling again. This gas tank is loose, people. I haven't had this bike this torn apart yet. I'm a little, a little paranoid. bolt out right there that bolt right there look at that you guys you guys are helping out so much someone uh someone super chats me money for a new windscreen we'll hack this one up on the live with the dremel I'm getting nasty with it Oh yeah. All right. So the gas tank is fully disconnected. I think this is the part where I'm I'm wrong.
now we're good. Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, she's got plenty of gas, too. Now I'm scared. Gas tank is off. Nice little dent. We're great. Oh, we're gonna cut it anyways. We don't need no donations. So, if I could have like a seven foot tall dude stand over top of me and film this, would be great. But I'm gonna loosen this bolt up, take the air box off, expose the throttle bodies. And then this tube right here is your crankcase hose and it runs to your air box naturally. So we're gonna take this hose and run it all the way up to the front by the radiator and hook up this hose and breather filter up to it. And then for all those caps, we're gonna take all these openings in the air box and cap them all off. That way the air box is completely sealed up. And then after that, um, the front uh, valve cover just needs to seal up as well. So a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's called a clean air mod and it's basically allows your bike to do longer wheelies without starving the engine of oil. We also have a um, on point um, oil pan gasket, I think it's called. And um, this is something I usually don't run, but my buddy sent me his 2019 stump build parts list and that was on it. So I was like, all right, cool, order it. I'm gonna take these off because they're pissing me off to look at. Yo, what is up, Ryan? Reading some comments, y'all. Only 2019, I know they can front flip. Uh, that's true, baby. We got the front brakes for days on this thing. Uh, you only need motorcycle insurance if your um, uh, lender for your motorcycle requires it. Like if you bought a bike cash, you don't need insurance riding around. Unless you're um, wearing no helmet. You have to be over 21 years old to not wear a helmet.
Good boy. Appreciate you, Jake. I like that unicorn, my guy. <laughs> That's terrible. Alright. I don't know if I can really film this part, guys. It's kind of hard. Trying to stay stupid organized with this bike. I don't want to lose any volts. This is cool. I like how uh, Cal puts these little holes in here so you can get to the air box and unscrew the little clamps. One on each side. I believe it's a three. Number trace. See what I mean? Dude, if I was Jason Britton and this is my job, just to build brand new fresh stump bikes all day, my gosh, how therapeutic. He's got a mate. Alright, so now we got all this crap plugged in. Can undo this crankcase hose first and foremost. Gotta look at everything and see how the schematics are for this hose routing and caps. Everything's fresh. First time tearing this bike apart, so everything super tight. Got hose up here as well.
No, it looks like the last one's like a catch can. All right, I'm just learning as I go here. I'll explain every sec everything in a second, people. The boy's like, what? Where are all these hoses coming from? Now we got the air box off. You got this one. This is gonna get all sealed up. I believe I'm not even gonna mess with this. Let's kind of keep it like that. Maybe seal this part up. And then this is your crankcase hose right here. That one's gonna run the filter all the way up to front. And then this little guy right here, this little guy is like a drip canister that runs down right here can't really see it hit right in there so we don't need this one this one will run up to the front and this one will get eliminated and as for the air box we've got this one this one this one yeah so just the three holes and we're just going to seal them up so let's go to our handy dandy six shop clean air mod kit to start over our background music and read some comments. Just kidding. I ain't gonna talk like that. Your boy is sweating up a storm. Getting delusional. Uh oh. Remix. Let's read some comments. Um, reverse the oil pickup. Oh, I didn't read anything about that. You guys are just now tuning in. We are tearing my bike apart for the sake of stunt riding. So right now we just got the airbox off, putting in some caps. It's gonna be lit. Ooh, that could have went better. big boy goes on the old crankcase spot it's not really tight not super snug but it'll work okay so he came to party he got okay i see what's happening here so even though these caps aren't exactly to fit he sends you these nice clamps so we can send them home that's what we're gonna do people Maybe a six. How are your DAC? Excellent. Uh, th oh, this mower right here. This is the old professional Briggs and Stratton 85.5. We got the turtle speed all the way up depth tunnel down to the, the rabbit. Right here, it's got off-roading tires, one-inch lift kit, uh, red handlebars. Funny story is um, I had it sitting like this. I had it stored like this for like two weeks straight. My dad like went to go use it after it being stored like that for two weeks, and it was just spewing out like clouds of smoke. I felt really bad. So don't store your one more like that. What the f right. are you serious right now? These things are super loose, man.
camera keeps cutting out. Dang, cut all, all the people gone. I think we're back, yeah, we're back. Yeah. Ugh. All right. I think we're back. Last cap, we're not doing anything super interesting just yet. So we got one cap, two cap, three cap. These things are on there, they ain't going nowhere. I did that one a little tight, but it's the job done. All right, so then we got all these things, uh, which I don't think we really need. We just threw them in here to look, look plentiful. So now, we just run our fatty. All right, this is kind of the, the juice of it right here, people. Trying to get the angle right. It's a two-hander kind of job. All right. So this hose, what we gotta remove. mats covering everything too. It's helpful. Good God. Yeah, it stretch this puppy out a little bit. Damn.
A little spit shine. There we go. I should put on that real easy. All right. Run this through. So we just went ahead and hooked up the crankcase hose. It's gonna run all the way up till right about here. So we just need to put the filter up front. Find a good spot to tuck it in. Literally, there's like so much crap here. This plastic thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep all this crap in here or not. How he covers everything up. All right, we'll try something here. Freaking So I'm actually going to disconnect this. I'm going to keep this plugged in, but I'm going to tee off this with the hose.
All right, so that's how I have it routed from the crankcase all the way up to the head. And the hose is just sticking out under the handlebars for right now. I gotta tear it down a little bit more to get a little further into it. I'm gonna read some comments real quick. Let me know what you guys are up to this fine Monday evening. I need to head to the gym still. All right, I take it back. I found an extra cap and I just capped it off and then left this how it is. I want to keep as least amount of stuff messed with on this bike as possible. It's like every time I move the phone to get a better angle, it's, it's when it uh, cuts out the video. It's a shame. I'm in zone right now. Oh, we're going to put it in the fairing, actually. I don't really want to cut this damn thing. So we're not going to. Filter installed.
right. The dreaded clean air mod is done. Super simple. So we just disconnected the crankcase hose from the air box, uh, a couple other hoses from the air box, sealed the air box up, put a little cap on this sensor right up here, kept this all how it was, and then we put a longer hose for the crankcase running all the way up to here. This is where your oil breather filter is. And then I'll find a spot inside the front fairing that I can tuck it in right up here somewhere. So that'll be perfect, literally super nice. I'm happy. So now we gotta work on this sad subframe, but uh, I'm gonna take my time going through all the pieces, making sure everything's solid, and I'm not gonna live stream it. But I'll give you guys a few more minutes looking at the bike, looking how broken down in pieces she is right now, and I'll read some comments. So let me know what you guys have on your mind answer some questions for you. Appreciate you, Jacob. My oh, man. Here's all the caps. Cap, cap, cap.
Tighten in the air box back there. Sketchy. Plug it. It's just a MacBook. I'll be in SBK, man. Why is KOT got to be at SBK same time? That sucks. You got to pick and choose. I'm sad. I don't need to replace the skins. They're, uh, they're all minty still. I need to replace this piece though. I might fall through the box. Yo, Jack, chill out, bro. Oh, yeah, I do want to put some fairings on Betty. Think about this bike. Minty. Telling me to calm down, you're a little out. I'm calm, bro. You calm. <laughs> Can't even be joking about that corona, boy. It is real life out here. Dude, I don't like Max wrist, okay? Can we just get that out of the way? Don't like him. I don't want to collab with him. I don't want to pass him, Mac pass him, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to go buy shit off Craigslist with him. Don't like Max wrist, so we're not collabing. I don't care about running to him at the grocery store. I'm not talking to him. But, just look at me. Don't be. No, I wasn't in the military or anything. I seen Adam at the uh, Clutch Kickers event. He was actually holding it down. His, his car seemed a little underpowered compared to all the competition, which was uh, it's pretty decent considering that. Check that elbow out, boy. to put on the bike right now. Oh, this windscreen. I really don't want to cut it right now, people. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to cut it on the live, man. This is sketch. Uh, baby. Taper up. We can get a decent line going here. I'm, I'm about it. Hey, 
SBK is this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. We're trying to take Betty White on the Supermoto Sunday. I feel like it's been too long. Like, let me do that again. Ooh, play that sax. GoPro mount. I'm trying to read comments and work on the bike at the same time, so uh, bear with me. Betty White's running good, man. We overheated the piss out of her this past weekend. So basically, I popped my tire, and I didn't hear it. And I still did a burnout for like a good minute straight off rev limiter in sixth gear. And the headers were so freaking hot. I'm not even kidding. You guys want to see... Um, like a just a random ass mashup video basically i was trying to vlog the whole weekend but it, it's just chaos like the whole the whole event i'm just gonna make a random crazy edit out of it for you guys and yeah no i don't know about getting a drift car i don't know why i'm taking all this time to peel this freaking adhesive off this mount I got zoned out for a second. All right, reading comments. Oh, I gotta put. I gotta hire the hire the the, the band back. Oh, we're back. We're back. Thank you for being proud of me. Um, the Ford Transit man. I did my research. It seems like the best bang for the buck. Practical. Solid, no touch screen, but it's all right. I didn't like film a video. Like when it comes to building a stump bike, we're just dying to get it done. We're not like super YouTuber-y about it. Like order these parts. It's just kind of like middle of the night, crackhead status. You spent a couple thousand dollars and you're like, oh no, what happened? I just spent a lot of money on parts. The good thing about windscreens is you can always buy another one. Trammel gang, baby. It's going down. It's going to be bad. I, I, I'm just taping it up right now so I can 
Looks good to me. <laughs> that that's for looking good to me. Tell you what, we're gonna take a second and get some some feedback. Let me know your criticism on that line. Basically, loop did he, scoop did he? We gonna make it happen? Let me know. Let's hear in the comments. What is up, Dudley Dub? Yes, Jack. We are waiting on the giveaway bike steel frame. That is all. I'm blowing this dude's messages up like no other. I will not rest until the frame is gotten. Oh, you guys want close up? Let me know what y'all think. So it'll be this line to this line. Make Brian do it. Yeah. Brian, bring me a steel frame we hang out this weekend. Or else. Alrighty, Dremel gang. We're gonna be smart this time. Very nice, very nice. 
Got it all nice and ready for her procedure. I would take it off and cut it, but I feel like it's gonna mess with the way I'm cutting it. So I'd rather just keep it on. That way I can stay consistent with my cut, not like moving the windscreen all around. So yeah. I've done it this way every single time, but I never covered up the instrument panel and stuff. So I've always gotten flakes all over it. So we're, we're one up in our game this time around, people. All right, then. Just a little off the top. I'm making this a video right now as we speak. Yeah, when I make the, uh, when I get the transit, I want to make a sleeper portion, but um, also make it collapsible if I need to throw an extra bike in instead. All right. Let's see if there's a way to zoom in. Yeah. Get that cut up close and personal. Cut close, nice, black.
Howdy, people. What do you guys think? Let me unzoom it for you. Yee. Probably sand down the top a little bit. Looks good to me. I left a little bit more so I could always trim it down if I need to, but I want to get my wind or uh, my fairing stay in and see where it sits first. Yes, that's sexy. Yeah, neighbors love me. That's for sure. I'm gonna read some comments real quick, people.
Okay. So we got a lot done tonight. A lot at my pace that is. She's looking good. I'm reading some comments, people, in my bed. Get in my zone and forget I'm live streaming here. She's looking bad, though. What up, Break Jamming Joe? We out here getting getting Chirac prepared. Yes, yeah, definitely a fuck the names. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no tool room in no van. Be lucky if I can fit tools in the van. I got this bike back in June. Kind of is like a dentist tool. I love this bike though. This thing is so nice. I don't know about the exhaust. I don't know if I want to sell it or run it until I destroy it and then get a undermount exhaust. But I definitely want to rock it. I don't see any stunt bikes with a full Acro. So it'd be nice to have one on there. And yeah, I'll keep the frame stock until anything else. <laughs> Follow stunt riders on Instagram and stuff and you figure out when they're doing events. It's the best way to stay in the loop. I gotta dig for an air truck so I can blow this thing off. So give me a second, people. Feel free to write more comments. Oh, and the gas tank's off. For those of you just tuning in so that I can take it to Texas with me, we're gonna get the tank built. So it should be stunt ready. Yeah, I'll be running a Brembo foot brake and then a four piston for handbrake. Try that out. Eight piston, I've rode people's bikes with eight pistons. Just so much brake. It's not needed for me because I'm heavy on my brakes as is. Appreciate you, Josh. I'm loving it. I want to do green tint on the headlights. I think that would look sick. Just like a nice green tint. If anybody knows how to get the green tint or what the process is, I'd love to do that. I'm going to look for an air, air truck real quick. Blow off time, baby. Blow off time, baby. 
like probably to like right here and then there the seven degree bend I want to say it is I don't know nine o'clock <laughs> the good good fun hell yeah <laughs> that's gonna be some mo tool when I get these brakes put on that's the good good uh, I look at this front end all day Especially with the windscreen cut. So nice. Man, I want to start tearing the tail apart. What's next on the chopping block? I just don't want all these pieces hanging out. This is all I got to replace right here. Well, I don't know, I might keep it intact for now. Depending on if I break it even more practicing. Getting used to the bike. And the swing arm is bent. I don't have to run that for now. You can kind of see right there. Oof. We'll test her out for now. Swapping a swing arm ain't no biggie. All right, guys. Sad to say, it's going to wrap it up for tonight. I'm going to run to the gym and edit the weekend that just passed video for you guys. Big drift event. Had a really killer time. A lot of crazy shit happening out there. Um, I'm pretty beat. But I think we made some good progress all on the live stream tonight. I had a really good time. And I'm glad I had you guys here to motivate me, keep me pushing. That windscreen getting cut is a really nice look. Other than that, drop a like before you guys head out, people. Um, trying to think. If you guys would be at SBK, I'll see you guys there this weekend. Look out for Betty White. Say what up. Um, yeah. Take care, guys. Keep it dank. Wilson shirt soon. <laughs>